Hey, thanks for tuning in today. We had a wonderful opportunity this morning to learn more about hope. We learned that hope is something we need in order to continue, to grow, to become all that God has meant us to be. We identified that in order to move forward, we need to have a full tank. And we began today to look at three tools to keep hope alive. Getting hope is one thing, but keeping hope is another thing. We looked at discouragement. Discouragement is the antithesis of hope, and we spent some time on that. I encourage you to go to our webpage and, and check out the entire uh, message if, if you haven't heard it. We also talked about five ingredients of filling our tank. First of all, to invest. We need to invest time in relationship with the Lord, not studying, not praying, but simply sitting. Uh, Psalm 46.10 says, to be still and know that I am the Lord. So in order to fill our tank, we need to be in His presence. Then we looked at worship. And we identified worship as, as bowing down and kissing toward, having great, great respect and honor for Almighty God. That worship is not reduced to singing. It's not an event, but worship is truly a lifestyle. And then we looked at the third ingredient, which is study. Study to show yourself approved unto God is Paul's admonition to the younger pastor named Timothy. And we learned that God's word is, is everlasting. It lasts forever. We learned that uh, it, is, it is the ingredient that keeps us clean. And in order to keep our tank full, it's important to have a daily dose of, of study in God's word. We also looked at listening and hearing in John chapter 10, the great I am, the great shepherd, the good shepherd chapter. We learned that Jesus said, my sheep hear me and they know my voice. I know them and they follow me. And we talked about voices we have of discouragement. I can't, I won't. My dad said, I'll never amount to anything. Whatever the voice is, we need to counteract that with the voice of God. That the great shepherd says, you are victorious. You are more than an overcomer. And then we concluded today with the fifth ingredient, and that is to develop. Develop friendships. Not negative influencers who are critical and sarcastic and are going to put you down, but brothers and sisters in the Lord that you can be authentic and vulnerable with who will point you to become all that you're meant to be. So what a great day we've had. Next week we're going to look at dreaming big, that nothing is impossible with God, that God has great plans in store for the people of God and God is not done. God's in the business of completing his redemptive story and we're part of that process. So we look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks for tuning in.